Griffith Park and the Griffith Observatory are named after their donor, Colonel Griffith J. Griffith, a journalist turned gold speculator, turned real estate developer, turned paranoid attempted wife murderer. Midget egomaniac, pompous. There were some who said he kind of strutted like a turkey. And that was how 19th century Los Angeles thought of him before he tried to murder his wife. Because there were two schools of thought about him. One school of thought was he was a murderer. The other school of thought is he's crazy. And the city of Los Angeles would wait until he was dead to accept the money to build Colonel Griffith's observatory. The observatory was built at the absolute depth of the Great Depression, and that materials and workers were really cheap. It's like the copper used for the observatory's domes. Colonel Griffith knew that he wanted a facility for what he called the plain people, but exactly what it would teach people, he was a little unclear on it. He knew he wanted a telescope. He knew that he wanted some sort of motion picture theater. Some of his early inquiries about what should be shown in that theater, quasi-scientific titles like how to catch fish with dynamite. The motion picture theater that Colonel Griffith envisioned uh, would eventually become a planetary. Griffith had made his fortune in San Francisco in the years after the gold rush. While working as a journalist covering the gold mines for the Daily Alta California, he found a second job that would prove quite lucrative. He eventually got hired by mine owners to write confidential reports, and he comes to Los Angeles a wealthy young man. He married Christina Mesmer, the daughter of a prominent French family and a Catholic, and purchased the Los Feliz Rancho, eventually donating the steepest hills of the rancho to make Griffith Park in 1896. Between Griffith, who somehow mysteriously acquired the title of Colonel, uh, and his wife, they were, they were a power couple. I don't think that, uh, that anyone foresaw that, that he would fall from grace uh, so quickly. It was 1903, and Griffith and his wife were vacationing on the Palisades in Santa Monica at the Arcadia Hotel. Griffith was paranoid that his wife was conspiring with the Pope to poison him and steal his fortune. And, despite being a prominent prohibitionist, he was also putting away two quarts of whiskey a day. And he returned to the presidential suite at the Arcadia, mad with drink, revolver in hand. He made Tina swear on a Bible before he began his interrogation, but before he got very far, the gun went off. Tina jerked her head to the side, catching the bullet in her right eye, stumbled to her feet, and dove out the window, crawling to safety from the piazza roof below. The trial was sensational and featured a novel defense for the time, alcoholic insanity. Still, Griffith was found guilty of assault with a deadly weapon and sentenced to serve his time at San Quentin Prison. A century later, the story of Griffith J. Griffith is largely forgotten by the families at the observatory and the hikers in Griffith Park. But from his observatory, perched high on Mount Hollywood, we can see that which is hidden by the bright lights of the City of Angels.